Now let's then move on towards the last part that is a startup valuation. This is a case study for startup. Okay. And uh, this is an investor, a private equity investor who is interested in investing in one of the startup company. Okay. And a private equity investor or P investors generally will have a huge amount of wealth and therefore they will always be interested in investing in the startup companies to take the risk. And here the name of that uh, investor is Angel Venture, who is, in, who is considering to invest around 3000 million in the startup company, which names as Delta System, or a startup IT company it is. And the required rate of return of that investor is, see the rate of return that he wants is 35% every year. Every year, he wants 35% rate of return from investing around 3,000 million. And he wants to hold this investment for a period of five years. Okay. And after, at the end of the fifth year, which he has projected, the company has projected, company projected at the end of the fifth year, they're expecting that the operating profit of a company or the abitta of the company will be around 4,000 million, okay? That is what they have projected for fifth year. And an abitta multiple of six for fifth year is considered reasonable. See, what is that? And also they have projected the balance of loan as well as the cash balance. The debt balance of 2,500 million, they're expecting that there will be carried in the company. And they're expecting a cash balance of around 800 million in the fifth year. Now, what we need to calculate? We need to calculate what ownership share in Delta system should Angel Ventures ask for. For example, if you want to invest in a startup company, okay, and you're putting the money, the first question that you will ask to that company is, if I'm putting the money in your company, how much ownership stake you will give me in your company, right? So that is the first thing as an investor, I need to calculate that whatever, what ownership position I will get in that company when I'm investing 3000 million in that company. Yes or no? So that is what we need to first calculate. The two second other thing is, what is the value of the firm before my investment and after my investment? So I need to calculate the post money investment value of the firm and the pre money investment value of the firm, right? That means before getting any funding, what was the, before getting my funding, what was the value of that startup? And after getting my funding, right? What was the value of that startup company? So you need to understand the difference between these two as well, right? Let's see now how to calculate this. So these are the given thing that we need to find out ownership position post money and pre money value yes what are the given thing cost of private equity investor he is expecting 35 percent rate of return he wants to invest around 3000 million in a company the company is projecting an operating profit of around 4000 million at the end of the fifth year depth of 2500 million and cash of 800 million and they are going to hold an investment for a period of five years and they are expecting an industry multiple of six times. What does it mean? Average industry abitta multiple is nothing but it's a multiple called as EV to abitta. That is enterprise value divided by abitta. And how much the industry average is? The industry average of EV to abitta will be six times at the end of the fifth year which means what for one rupee a beta to get that one rupees of an operating profit i am ready to pay six rupees for the enterprise require that enterprise exactly the same concept for p 
that for one rupee earning, how much equity price I will be ready to pay. Same way, for one rupee of an operating profit, how much enterprise value I will be ready to pay. So here, six rupees I'm ready to pay. This is what the industry multiple is, average industry multiple is. At the end of the fifth year, it will be.